Hey everyone and welcome back to Explore Your Dark Side. My name is Stephanie and I have done, when I started this channel a while ago, I've done a few book reviews, a bit like summaries where I speak about books I read. And in the meanwhile I've read loads of books but I haven't really done any reviews anymore or like summaries or like the key points um, and whether I would recommend a book or what I liked about it etc. So I haven't done this in a while but I feel you know, I keep reading so much that it's, yeah, I feel like kind of it sometimes goes to waste if you don't speak about it anymore. Um, I, I tend to make notes while I read, especially like if it's interesting points, so I tend to type it into my notes. Um, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, it might be beneficial for you, and I know that people liked it, um, to speak a bit more about um, whether I liked the book and why and why not. And a while ago on, a, on another channel actually I spoke about this book and it's the uh, Big Five for Life and it's it's not the newest book obviously it's uh, from John Strelecki and it is, I don't even know when I read it the first time, I think it's like five years ago or yeah even longer so a while ago and it still keeps being a book that is like recommended to leaders in the world and that people find very inspirational, very motivational, etc. Um, so for me, I usually, maybe just to, to let you know what kind of reader I am, I usually read business books, I read mainly non-fictional books. Um, I sometimes enjoy a good crime, or, you know, like a psycho thriller, um, psycho thriller or something like that, but mainly I read non-fictional books. So I'm more like this, you know, hit me with knowledge kind of a girl. Um, so the big five for life is is obviously quite different. Um, it is a it's a lovely book. It has a story. It is um, I mean John Strzelecki is um, is quite well known. Also he wrote the the Y Cafe another book, and his his style his writing style tends to be it's the storytelling right in a nutshell it's storytelling. So in this book he's talking about um, the CEO of a company who's very ill and he's talking about his story of his life, the story of his life and um, how he ran this company and the company makes massive fortunes and how he structures every day as a museum's day, kind of like, you know, in a museum, is it a day that is worth looking at? And I think this is actually one of the points I really do like about this book. It's having this reflection about how you live your life, how to live a purposeful day and how to structure each day um, to be purposeful, to be a day that is worth looking at, that is worth remembering and that is is worth being putting up on a wall and being um, displayed like as it would be in a museum. The The other thing I really did like about this book is obviously the what's the big purpose of your life so to get really deep and find your purpose why are you here um, he calls it the purpose of existence and this is something I really like and I think it's a question that is incredibly difficult to answer and it's incredibly important to to try to answer that however having said that and again me being someone who who really likes facts and um, quite like knowledge-based books for me, I found it like sometimes it it felt a bit long. It felt a bit um, a bit there was a bit fluff. So for me, as a business book, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Also, like leadership books, um, yeah, I prefer um also stuff that is kind of like scientifically based. I mean, I know that not obviously everything can be scientifically based, um, but also you know the the companies are doing well. People are good. The concept is brilliant. You know, treat your people well. Treat your people great build a great company and people will take care of it um, despite you running it or not. However, I think the book, like this one, might ne not necessarily be um, probably the best book for like uh, in a business context or like if you're looking for a really like a, a proper business book on how to run a business, etc. If you want a nice read for like on the train or, you know, in bed or whatever, um, without necessarily taking notes and really sitting on your desk while reading it it's an it's a nice read it definitely is a nice read and I think it's really it's it's recommendable absolutely especially when you want to get a bit more um, inspired around leadership how others are doing it 
um, positive impact, then I would recommend this book. But it's not necessarily a book for people who want to learn how to run a business successfully, etc. Well, if you want to get... A, but, well, I should differentiate that. If you want to get inspired, yes. If you want to get motivated, yes. But not on how to. Like, really, you know, give me facts kind of basis. So, um, yeah, definitely worth a read. I mean, it's on the on the bestseller list since years. So, definitely worth a read. It's a nice book. It's um, I, I, I give it as a present well because I think it's, um, it's a really nice read. But again, if you're someone who wants to get a quick read, a very efficient read, then this might not be the right book for you. I hope you found that useful and I will see you soon again. Take care.